It's indeed a great pleasure to welcome Dr. Nalini Mishra here today in our studio with us. And uh, Dr. Nalini Mishra is Professor and Head of Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology from Raipur, Chhattisgarh. So welcome Dr. Nalini over here in the studio today Thank with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Dr. Nalini, we would like to have some key opinion of yes. you regarding some of the topics which yes. are associated with maternal mortality. So what is your opinion on a cause, a basic cause of maternal mortality? Why is it high in India as such? Uh, India and all other low resource settings, I'll say, uh, a common factor is that uh, we do not have, we do not manage the postpartum hemorrhage properly. Okay. Uh, because uh, whenever the medical management fails, yeah. we have to resort to the second line management. And uh, what is the problem in uh, most of the low resource settings is that uh, they do not have the facility for surgery, they do not have the anesthetic, they do not have the operation theatre. So, uh, because postpartum hemorrhage is the leading cause of death in uh, low resource settings, so once the drugs are not acting, mm -hmm. then you have to have something that yeah. helps those women. Okay. So, uh, for that, they should use a second line intervention and WHO and FIGO, mm -hmm. they have uh, opined in 2012, they mm -hmm. recommended the intrauterine condom balloon or balloon tamponade okay. uh, to be the second line intervention and uh, we have to use that but what happens there are two types of tamponade i'll mm -hmm. tell you that uh, one type is uterine specific balloons and uh, they are available commercially okay. and they are available in all the uh, western world and it's very very costly actually uh, low resource settings what they do is they make uh, condom balloon tamponade so okay. what they do is uh, like i can show you that uh, uh, this is uh, uh, catheter like and uh, if if uh, they just uh, roll the condom over the, the this thing okay uh, and and what they do is they tie it with the silk so this is tied with the silk okay. so once you tie it with the silk and then it is connected to uh, uh, the iv fluid hmm. and then it is filled so what happens and then the uterine tamponade is created and uh, the bleeding stops but there are certain problems with this uh, conventional type of condom balloon tamponade. What happens when we tie the thread and then uh, sometimes the knot is loose. So when, when we are filling the saline, it just leaks out. And if we tie it uh, uh, quite tightly, then the fluid does not go in. Okay. So that is a problem. So thirdly, what happens whenever we use any this suture material, mm. it sometimes cuts through the uh, this um, condom material. And patient is bleeding and on the face of bleeding, uh, my uh, tamponade is not consistent. Hmm. So that gives a, a lot of problems. So okay. And thirdly, the biggest problem is that the conventional condom balloon tamponade does not have a drainage port, okay. which the uterine specific devices like Bakri hmm. balloon hmm. or EBB, hmm. they hmm. have it. But the problem is that uh, the Bakri balloon costs $250, that is around hmm. 13,000 to 14,000 rupees. Okay. So what we did was, at uh, our college uh, in uh, Chhattisgarh, we made an innovative condom balloon tamponade, mm. which is known as Chhattisgarh balloon after the name of my state. Yeah. So what we do is, I'll tell you how do we make it. So what we take it, uh, I am not wearing gloves so that you can see the rings properly and uh, because this is just a demonstration. So generally we take a 20 or 22 or 24 number uh, French. 24 French Foley's catheter then what I will do is I just cut two rings you see this I cut two rings these are just cut the rings this is a, this is they made a rubber band fine and then what will happen so just this is already sterilized so I can cut two or three rings then What I do is just I have to fill the bulb. So you just fill the bulb with 5 ml of air and then I have to just cut the this just cut the bulb fine. Now you just cut it all around because we have to the fundamental pro thing is to replace and we can either excise it or you can simply evert the thing so you can evert it now what we do is just put the 
condom over the this uh, catheter. So, this is done and then you take the rings. So, you just take the ring and you apply the upper ring between the this bulb and the hole of this uh, catheter. catheter, hole of the catheter. So, you just uh, wound it around only twice means uh, so you do it twice this is this is in between the bulb in between the bulb and the hole mm. can you see this yeah. uh, area now the second ring i'll be applying the second ring just 1 to 2 cm from the uh, this tip rim of the condom so this this done yeah fine now what i'll do is i'll simply cut this thing mm. the cut the tip of the condom and tip of the catheter yeah. together yeah. and this has can you see this hole so now the hole is created now you see what i have done is i have replaced the bulb of the mm. police catheter mm. with a bigger bulb yeah. which is made of condom mm. now i have tied both the ends so yeah. this is secure yeah. and i know that length from the tip to the rim yeah. so i know how far i have to introduce mm. the mm. catheter mm. now you see I dip it in the betadine. Yeah. I wear gloves, of course, and uh, wear it in. Uh, keep it in betadine for three minutes, and then once you have to introduce it, you just like this is a patient. This is the uterus, and what I have to do it. I uh, should I do it here. Here you will be able to see. So suppose whenever I introduce it. Just keep it between two fingers and just introduce it, in, it, it goes inside and we have to keep the rim, just keep the rim of the condom at the level of the os, this is the landmark, fine. Now I will demonstrate how do I fill it. Now while I take, I cut the normal saline uh, bottle like this, dusra bhar ke dena and just through the bulb inflation port, take the bulb inflation port, through the bulb inflation port, I just fill it with saline. So while I am doing it with one syringe, my assistant fills the second syringe. So I can do it real fast It, it uh, and maximum amount of saline which is to be filled. So generally what we need is around 200 to 250 or 300 ml of normal saline because this bottle is of 500 ml so once this bottle is finished and the, now you see this is not leaking this is not leaking fine yeah so the and and, the, and, and this is a good drainage port yeah and then i just have to connect it to the uh, this thing connect it to a eurosec and I can measure the ongoing blood yeah, loss absolutely. in real time. So it will be a real time assessment of blood loss. Hmm. And if there is ongoing blood loss, I can switch over to the next step in the management of PPH. So I can really make that stepwise management of PPH a reality. Because yeah. now we have a, a device which works as good as commercially available uterine specific device. And we, I can make it in two minutes and in 100 rupees only whenever we make conventional condom balloon tamponade it also costs around 3 to 400 because we use a, a silk or a yeah. vicryl yeah. that is 400 and this is made only in 100 rupees mm. so if we save 300 rupees in every device you just think how much money our country can save in the long run and that Absolutely. is all i want to say and Absolutely. this article this method this technology is published in International Journal of Obstetrics and Gynae by Fago House, Oxford publication, in our own Jogi, 
and I have gone to uh, 16 places in 2016 across India and people are using this and they are finding it very good and the, <coughs> there are so many theses which are going on so I am very happy to Absolutely. have done something for my country. Thank you so That's much. That's a very wonderful innovation ma'am. I Thank mean uh, that so would much. help on management and better management of patients with hemorrhage. So that would be a very useful uh, innovation for the people of the country ma'am. I hope Thank so. Thank you so much uh, for being so. with us ma'am today and uh, it was having wonderful uh, with you over here. I Thank you so much so. I hope I hope that nobody dies and we can avoid surgery if we use yeah. this. Uh, we have used in 88 patient till now and in 87 it was successful. Thank so you so much ma'am. Thank you so much for the wonderful insight ma'am and thank you so much for having with us today.